Welcome back to the shooting channel. If you are thinking about starting shooting, what do you go with? 20 ball, 12 ball? And we have a lot of people say 20 balls are girls' guns, 20 balls are kids' guns. They're not. A lot of youngsters, now, if you walk around a clay shooting ground, a competition ground, even youngsters, you see barely any 20 balls on that clay ground. 20 balls are something that people can start with if you've got your small daughter or son or lady that's very skinny. If you've got somebody that doesn't have a lot of strength, then a 20 ball is a great gun for it. Competition guns, most people will shoot with a 12 ball. And most people will move up to a 12 ball quite quickly. I've got a little 20 ball there. I've got the Yield It's Pro 20 ball. I mean, a lot of people will, but now they've been shooting with a 12 ball for years and they'll buy a 20 ball to go game shooting with just because it's something different. It's a bit of fun. So something like this, a lot of people do tend to use 20, 32 inch barrels when they're going game shooting. But you start with something like this if you want to go out game shooting and you want to go off of, off of your 12 ball. This is a competition gun. This is more of a 12 gauge, or then you can have a Bretta Silver Pigeon or a Browning 525 to start with. But the biggest thing you need to think about is don't really think, do I start with a 20 ball? Do I start with a 12 ball? When you go in and you go and have your first have a go, or you go to your shooting school, ask their advice, say, oh, I fancy shooting something a little bit different. Do I fancy a 20 ball? Do I fancy a 12 ball? The instructor will help you with that right choice. The biggest thing you need to think about is what you're going to do. Are you going to go into it for competitive clay shooting? If you are, then you want to be thinking probably 12 ball. Is my son or daughter going to shoot? They're a little bit, if they're really small, you're probably going to start with a 20 ball. So it's all these little questions that you need to be thinking. And that's really where you want to be thinking about. So I've just jumped into this film to give you some fantastic news. The shooting channel will be at the British Shooting Show this month. On the Oxford Gun Company stand, we will be there showing off what we've shown you over the last year, couple of years. So come and see me and Alex. We'll be there on the Friday, Saturday and the Sunday. Come and see us. We have brand new merchandise that you can come and purchase. Come and drop by, say hello, pick up your brand new TSC merchandise from the stand. And we will have a really, really great giveaway on the stand. So come and see us, come and see Alex. We have lots of exciting things. I'll see you at the shooting show. I'm now going to just shoot a couple of three pairs with a 20 ball, a couple of three pairs with a 12 ball. Just to say to you, what is the difference between a 12 ball and a 20 ball and whether you should go for with which one? So I'm going to start with the yield it's 20 ball first and then we're going to go on to the 12 ball. 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 So that's a 20 ball. The biggest thing is, is the weight. It's just a lot lighter compared to a clay gun 12. It's probably about a pound and a half lighter. It barely recalls to be fair. A lot of people think 20 balls recall. It doesn't. I'm using 24 gram cartridges. Doesn't really recall. You do tend to have to slow it up a little bit rather than just let it go to the clay. But I think that's because it's that little bit smaller. The whole thing is just generally smaller than a 12 gauge. Now I'm gonna shoot a 12 gauge clay gun. Instantly, the first thing I see is the weight. So that's the first thing I would say. Pull.
Pull. And again, the biggest thing I'm gonna see with this, it's a lot heavier, it's bigger, it's generally heavier. And the only thing I will say is, you can see why when you walk around a register shoot or a clay shoot or competition, you can see why generally a lot of people will shoot 12s rather than 20s. Because if you've got that batu there, you just physically put the gun there and it just goes there to it. You haven't got to move it, you haven't got to slow it down, it just goes to it. But on the that, I'm just going to shoot a couple more with the 20 bot. And in that hand, the 20 ball was a bit of fun to shoot. So it, the one thing, maybe, one thing we should do is maybe have a 20 ball competition. A lot of people, a lot of grounds have semi-auto competitions. Why doesn't somebody out there do a 20 ball competition? Please comment below if anyone would like to see a 20 ball competition or a small gauge competition more in the big clay shooting competitions. Be interested to see what people's thoughts on that. Pull. 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 Everything's just scaled down in the 20 gauge. Any information on whether you should shoot a 20 ball or a 12 ball, please comment below. I hope you enjoyed this program. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.